So today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at the Gunrunner. If you guys haven't found her yet, well, here she is. She actually has the same two items that you can get from the Countdown Bender, but they're going to cost you 15,000 credits each. She has the White Death with Marksman Rifle, Headshot Damage, Damage Targets Out of Cover, and Steady Handed. And then she has the Caesar's Guard with Skill Tier, Status Effects, Headshot Damage. Remember, you can get the same two items from the Countdown Vendor, but they have them here too, but they cost credits instead. Now, she has the Shield Splinter. If you guys don't have one of these, you guys need to do all the Hunters in DC. And then you have Assault Rifle Damage, Health Damage, Magazine Size, and Perfect Optimus. Now, if you need to get any, if you already have the Shield Splinter, but you want to get the Max Out Health Damage and Max Out Size, sorry, Magazine Size, you guys can put that in your library and grab that. She also has a Hunter Killer with Armor, Explosive Resistance, Weapon Handling, Perfect Intimidate. I probably would just pass on this one. She has a Foundry Backpack with Armor and Status Effects. You could just swap out the Status Effects and then just keep the Armor on there. They have ongoing directive chest piece with weapon damage, headshot damage. Remember, this is actually changing in title update 16. So it might be a build that you want to start collecting the pieces. Once you start getting a couple of these, just have them in your stats for when they do redo this one. They have the rigor gloves with skill tiers, status effects. You can put skill damage on there instead. They have aces and eights knee pads with weapon damage. And then you can put headshot damage for the weapon handling. They have the negotiator's holster with weapon damage, status effects. I'll put critical hit damage on the status effects. And then they have a true patriot mask with armor and skill damage and you can reroll the skill damage for whatever you want not bad rolls at all but yeah if you're trying to build anything around these green gear sets there you go they have the akm with assault rifle damage health damage accuracy and bread basket and they have the paratrooper svd with maxed out 15 percent max marksman rifle damage you can put this in your library also if you donate 20 of these akm and then 20 of the paratroopers you can get these fully proficient just by doing that they have the wire and wear backpack with skill tier, armor region, health, concussion. I'll pass on it. And then golden gear knee pads with armor, headshot damage, and weapon handling. For the mods, 8.7% deserent resistance. And then you have the max target on the fly. These are the items they have this week. Ideally, like I said, I'd probably pick up the named items. That's what I usually do if you have enough credits. Yeah, you can pick them up. If you just want to use a countdown, I recommend using the countdown instead of using these. The shield splinter and the golden gear hunter killer leave the hunter killer if you want this one for the three two rolls you could do that and then the green pieces are pretty solid but that is it for this week if you guys have any questions let me know miss mendoza vendor reset i'll see you guys later hey nothing but skills out